Hello, my name is Johannes Reicher from Wageningen University and this video provides a brief introduction to forest change monitoring and the learning goals of this MOOC module. The increasing global demand for resources increased the pressure on global forests over the past decades and led to large area forest loss, including deforestation and degradation. Global forest loss is mainly caused by commercial logging, agricultural expansion, but also mining and infrastructure expansion. In particular in the tropics, a significant number of these activities are illegal, such as forest logging without permits. These illegal activities cause a wide range of negative environmental and economic effects. In addition to the mentioned human-induced changes, extreme climate events such as droughts and fires and windstorms also cause wide area forest damage. In combination, global forest loss is the second largest source of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere after fossil fuel combustion. Therefore, consistent and accurate monitoring of the state of the global forest is fundamental to, for example, support and track progress of climate change mitigation mechanisms that aim to reduce forest loss and conserve forest at the same time. To provide regular information on the forest for the often large and inaccessible areas, satellite imagery constitutes the major data source. This animation shows a high resolution time series of Sentinel-2 imagery over an area in the Brazilian Amazon for a three year period covering mid 2016 to mid 2019. You can clearly identify large area deforestation patches, but also some re-greening after the areas have been cut. With the open availability of such high resolution satellite data, we now live in a data rich age, enabling a wide range of detailed satellite based forest monitoring applications at local to global scale. With archives of satellite data dating back to the 1970s, we can now monitor and understand long-term forest changes and dynamics, including deforestation and regrowth dynamics, studying drivers of change and follow-up land use. The new generation of Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2 satellites now provide imagery every few days. This allows us to detect changes such as deforestation almost as they happen. This is what we call near real-time forest change monitoring. The most used tool to turn historic and new satellite images in forest change information is time series analysis. Here we see a central one radar backscatter time series of a logging event in Guyana, South America. The time series covers the period between 2014 and 2019. And the individual points represent the observations which are available for the tropics every 6 till 12 days. Having such dense time series available allows us now to accurately detect the date of change and also to monitor what happens after the change, in this case, forest recovery. Processing and analyzing new images as soon as possible after they were acquired enables us to track new forest changes in near real time. Here an example of such near real time alerts using Sentinel-1 radar data for a selective logging area in the Central African Republic where we can see logging roads developing over time and in their surroundings the indication of selective logging. Selective logging means the extraction of often commercially valuable trees in the direct surroundings of these roads. The result are degraded forests. In many cases, selective logging is done unsustainable or illegally. In such cases, satellite-based near real-time alerting can support law enforcement activities to reduce these illegal activities. The photo you see shows an officer from the Brazilian Institute of Environment, IBAMA, supported by the military, that just tracked down illegal logging activities after receiving near real-time alerts. Analyzing patterns of change and underlying information can help us to identify and study different drivers of forest loss. Here are three prime examples from Africa. The first one shows selective logging. The second one shows smallholder agriculture, which is actually the major driver of forest loss in Africa. Smallholder agriculture is associated with communities and local people cutting small areas of forest for planting new crops. And the third driver is mining in this case, open pit gold mining. In the course of this module on forest change monitoring, you will learn more about global forest change and its drivers, 
the concept of time series analysis, you will be provided with an overview of four exchange products. And as part of two tutorials, you will have the opportunity to apply two different time series methods to detect forest loss in Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2 imagery. We hope you will enjoy the course.